Today we'll make this wreath with Dollar Tree decor. Keep watching. We're going to start out with some ribbon. I've chosen mine from the Dollar Tree. One is bigger than the other. I have some burlap and these are in about six inch, five or six inch rolls. These are Dollar Tree picks of lavender. And there are two different colors. There's a dark purple and a lavender, a lighter purple. I also have these thrifted picks that came from another arrangement. I pulled them out of. And they're kind of, they look like lavender, but they're on a vine. And then I just have some leftover pieces of greenery. And a wire wreath that has the little pine wraps on it. This is a domed shape wreath and it's about 16 inches. So I'm going to take this Dollar Tree picture. It's wall art. I think it's a really nice picture. And I'm going to take it out of the plastic wrapping and I'm also going to remove the glass from the front. Put everything back in. The main purpose of removing the glass is so that there's no glare during the video, but you're welcome to leave yours on if you'd like. I'm going to take this thrifted, I guess it's just a frame type wreath base, and I'm going to pull all of my pieces out to make it easier when I start wrapping. So I got this at Goodwill and it was kind of all mashed up. I'm going to pull these pieces out. Now I'm going to take 10 inch loops here of this burlap. I'm going to bundle up the end, press it all the way down, and then wrap my little wire pieces here two times. I'm going to measure again 10 inches, make a little poof, and then go to the next one. And we're starting on the outer ring. Two wraps, and I'm going to do this all the way around the bottom rim of that wreath. Measuring, bunching it up, and then wrapping it two times. So here we're at the end of that bottom row. I'm going to make that last poof on the bottom, twist it in, and then we're going to jump up to the next level. So I'm just going to go right up top there and place it in the center. Now this time, I'm going to be measuring 8 inches. We want it to be a little bit smaller because we don't want this to be a wreath that extends too far out on the front. Or if you put it on your door and you have a glass door or a storm door or even a screen door, it'll push your wreath down. So you want to keep this kind of at a, a low profile. So we got to make this a little bit smaller. These loops are 8 inches. I'm going to go around and do the same thing as we did on the bottom row. Eight inches, a little puff, and then two twists. When you get to the end up there, you're just gonna put it right back into that same spot, twist it, and then trim it off. And then the little leftover piece is just pretty much gonna be hidden in the wreath, but you can tuck it down if you would like to do that. Now I'm gonna take the lighter burlap that I had, and I'm gonna start that on the bottom. I'm going to do about eight inches and I'm just going to zigzag it from the bottom row, every other one to the top row. So I'm going to go to the top here. I'm going to unwrap it. My burlap's going to stay there. And then I'm going to wrap this one in there. So then I'm going to go down, measure eight inches, and wrap it in the bottom. Two wraps. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to skip one, go up to the top, open that one up, and put this lighter colored burlap in the top here. I'm going to do this all the way around the wreath. And then once you're done and you trim it off, just go ahead and fluff it out. Pull your sections apart and fluff it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just pulling stuff and tucking stuff. 
Now we're gonna look at a choice of colored ribbon here. Whoops. Pop the back right off of that. These are wired, the two smaller ones here. And I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing with this, this wired ribbon. I'm just gonna put it in here and then I'm going to jump it back and forth around the wreath all the way back to the top. I wanted it to be a little bit more full. And the idea is, since this is pretty much used for Christmas, this type of a pine wreath, I want to be able to cover up as much of that evergreen as possible for the look of this wreath. And you can do that by bulking it up with ribbon and extra whatever that you're using. Ribbons, an extra roll of burlap, another, uh, maybe a colored roll of burlap if you had something that you wanted to use but I wanted to keep mine fairly neutral as a base here. So you're gonna go all the way around till you get to the end. And for me, I was just shy of making probably two more crosses with that, with the polka dot ribbon, but I'm okay with that. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. And I'm okay with that uh, because I have something I'm gonna put on top. So we're just gonna make that empty space the top of the wreath. And you won't be able to tell. So I narrowed it down to which ribbons I wanted to use. I'm having trouble with my pen there. A huge thank you to my neighbor who gave me a bunch of crafting supplies that she was no longer using. And so I have lots of pretty ribbons to use now. I like the look of this. And I'm gonna add a thicker piece in there too. This is the bottom burlap piece with the lace also came from Dollar Tree. And you can also get, you know, colored ribbons and stuff like that at Dollar Tree too in the garden section or something seasonal. If you want to get something seasonal would be with particular holiday section of the store. I'm going to do four strips of each one of these. If you want to make more of these little bundles, then you can certainly make more of them. But I'm just going to make sort of like a messy bow. Essentially, they're going to be little ends that are just tucked in randomly through the wreath. So I'm just gonna stack them, bunch them in the middle. These are six inch pieces, by the way, of each one of these. And then I'm gonna take this little purple cording and just tie them in the middle. We'll do that to each one. I like to alternate my wired ribbon with the ribbon that is not wired because when you do it that way, you give some lift and some body to the little bundle. And that's what you want. You want something that's gonna kind of hold up your your area there and give it some dimension away from the body of the wreath. So I'm dovetailing all my ends. And this is what each little bundle is going to look like. You can kind of lay them out and see where you want to put them when you're done. Get an idea of what type of placement you like. Okay, so then we're going to put something to hold this onto our wreath. Hot glue is not going to be an option for me because I intend to reuse this. So we're going to give it a wire backing and we're just going to attach it to the wreath with these little pipe cleaners. I just went through the original hanger on the top to do that, get a little more support. And then on the bottom, I just added a little scrap of ribbon. You won't be able to see the back because it's going to be down into the wreath. So the top section that doesn't have that extra ribbon is where I'm going to put the top of that um, wall decor artwork and then fasten it down underneath to the frame of the wreath. And see here, it's down on the frame. Flip it back over, do a little fluffing, a little arranging. And then you can take all of the evergreen that is left in the, that is kind of sticking out that you'd used before and tuck it down into the wreath. Now I'm gonna take these picks and kind of decide where I want them to go. I took a bundle, cut those picks, those picks apart. I lost my footage, I'm not sure what happened. But I cut those picks apart, I randomly stacked them on both sides and then wrapped them in the center 
with a little piece of that eucalyptus pick and that's going to be what we're going to put on the bottom and so all of these little vine pieces are what I want to put around the sides nothing is glued down at this point it's just where I've kind of done a dry run here and when you're preparing to put these down you can use them to help hold your anything that is flying away your little flyaways you can hold those down with the glue and the ribbon so that's what I've done I've just kind of tucked them like they're growing around randomly through the wreath and I'm using my bow to help keep them from falling too far away from the body of the wreath so I've just put some hot glue down placed a piece underneath and then glued it on top if you made more of these little bundles you could go around the outside like toward the bottom if you wanted to this is just this video is for inspiration for you you can decide see there how we're putting that how we're gonna put it you can decide you know what works best for you and I have to give it a minute because it's a lot of area there it needs to glue to so I'm showing you how long it takes pretty much how long you want to hold it down if you feel that it's lifting then put a clip on it and let it stay there and I'm gonna do that here put some glue on the back if you didn't want to use glue at all you could use pipe cleaner around the center and then attach all of this with a pipe cleaner instead once the glue is set up you can remove your picks and then I'm going to show you how to make some simple little clips. We're going to make, it's going to look like a hairpin or a bobby pin with just a piece of floral wire. Poke it through that burlap. It's very easy to do. Pull it to the back and then twist it around. That's going to hold it nicely and you really won't even notice it through the burlap. Green is the same color as the stem so you don't really see it. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just take a little, a little scrap, a random piece. Press it through there and then twist it on the back side. And then it's going to hold it there for you. If you open the weave up a little bit when you're doing this, you know, just use your fingers and, and pull it back and you won't even notice it. Our lab's very forgiving that way. So these have a little bit of wire in them. I'm just kind of working with that. Now we have to put something on the top. And I don't, I, de I definitely do not want that on the top. I've decided that I'm going to put it on the bottom. So I'm just using a piece of the wire that came from that pick to hold it down there. Now, if you want to, you can wrap the center of this with twine. You can wrap it with burlap. You can put a bow on top, whatever you want to do on the bottom. But I like the raw look of it looking like I just picked it out of the garden and I'm waiting for it to dry. So I'm just gonna take another piece of this ribbon. This is a really simple bow. Pinch it in the middle. And then I wanna add a couple of layers on top of this. Same thing, we're gonna use the, the dark purple. This is showing up as a blue color, but this is really a deep purple. I don't know why my camera does that, but. And then the lightest color is gonna go on the top. We got all those with identical bows, a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to wrap it around with the pipe cleaner. And fluff it out. I love the shabby chic look of that ribbon that's on the bottom from Dollar Tree. It's a really pretty ribbon. It's pretty standard. They've had it for a few years, so you shouldn't maybe have too much trouble finding that ribbon. Okay, so after you've all got it all fluffed out, you can either dovetail the ends or you can just cut them in a slant like I'm doing here. This is really simple. Generally, you will see me dovetail, but I thought maybe this would be okay for this. And I don't want it to be too long of a bow. I don't want the tails to be too long because I don't want to obscure my picture that's down there because it's, it's the whole point of this wreath is that gorgeous picture. So I'm just going to do all of these that way and a little hot glue on the top to press it right down on that frame.
Now to add a little more to the top of the wreath, since we it's kind of bottom heavy right now, even with that bow on the top, I want to add a little bit of green here. So I've just cut some pieces off of the picks that I had left and glued them in the top. And this is our result. Thanks for watching. Bye.